Like many places of work, Parliament has needed to change the way it operates during the lockdown in order to keep going. And I just wanted to give you a, a little look at what that's like in practice. So I'm here in my office, no, no green benches, more of a sort of grey chair, um, modelling the traditional home worker outfit of jacket and slippers. I also want to say at the outset, however, this is a real cup of tea. See, it is not a disguised cup of wine. Go over to Ruth Edwards. Ruth Edwards. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Stilton producers such as the excellent dairies of Cropwell Bishop and Colston Bassett in my constituency face a 25% tariff when they export to the US market. Can my right honourable friend tell me what progress has been made in the first week of negotiations to reduce these tariffs? Secretary of State. Well, we're determined to get these tariffs reduced and removed on products like Stilton and the brilliant producers in her constituency. I want to carry on um, uh, on the issue of um, border controls because it's probably one of the issues that has come up most in my inbox. Constituents really are very, very concerned. Um, I completely, um, obviously, support basing our policy on scientific advice, but I think when it seems to run so counterintuitively to um, what people perceive, I think it's really important that that um, advice is, is published and, and made available to them. So I welcome the commitment that it will be. So I've just received a text message uh, saying that there is a vote in the Commons now. So unlike normal, when I have to go and run into the lobbies, I'm just going to here and I'm clicking on the Members Hub. And signing in. There you go, there's me. And there should be, here we go, a little purple bar, the bell ringing, telling me that there's a division, so I need to cast my vote. And I am voting aye. I'm voting in favour of the third reading of the administration bill. And I'm going to submit my vote. There we go. And in a short while, I'll get a text message just confirming my vote and which way I voted. So uh, that's remote voting. Um, we're also using Zoom to carry out select committee sessions and also debates and questions to ministers and the chamber. So it's not the same. Uh, I do miss uh, seeing my colleagues, like many of you, I'm sure. And I miss the atmosphere on, in the chamber of the House of Commons. But it does enable us to get on with, with doing our jobs throughout the pandemic. It's a huge change um, to the way that Parliament operates. Uh, normally we struggle to even find a plug socket for a charger there, so to suddenly be operating partly online is a fantastic achievement on the part of uh, the House of Commons staff, and I'd like to thank them for the incredible hard work that they've done, and I look forward to seeing them all again soon.